going to the movies. <laughs> is it about the film, the popcorn, or those reclining seats? Popcorn. Whatever the reason, movie theater owners are PG. Pretty glad to see more people in line for tickets. NBC 4's Kenya Ramirez joining us now live out in Grandview with a little bit more excitement from the owners on this one. Kenya? Darlene and Brad, well, the pandemic is far from over, but after last week's numbers and crowds that they've been seeing and the crowds that they're seeing right now, I know it's raining a little bit, but if you take a look inside, you can see just how many people are at the movie theaters. Well, many movie theater owners and managers feel like they can take a deep breath again and breathe again, especially after seeing highs and lows in customers for more than a year. Popcorn, pizza, beer, and community. I'm excited to see a movie. <laughs> it's been a while since many have been able to say this. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable kind of being out and about. Andy Wolfing is the manager at Grandview Theater in Draft House. He says after last weekend sold out shows and the health orders now lifted, he's ready to let everyone back inside. We are ready to party like it's March 14th, 2020. In the past year and a half, he lost about 60% of his income. We fought like hell to get to where we are. Assistant manager Tyler Campbell at another local movie theater says they've been waiting for this moment. Really was this past weekend where it kind of felt like oh, we're like we're right back in it again. Campbell says a lot of why his business was slow was not only because of the slowdown in the crowds, but movie production itself. I think the the biggest challenge that was while those were those circumstances were in place, we just weren't getting releases. But he says vaccines and mask orders lifted are also helping. If you want to wear masks, you're more than welcome to. We'll have masks here as well for people who don't bring them or would like additional masks. Uh, but we will not be requiring it as a business moving forward at this point. And I also spoke to the manager at Gateway Film Center and he says he also sold the majority of his screenings and he's hoping this is just the turn that they need for many local movie theaters to move ahead. Live and local for you, Kenny Ramirez, NBC4.